All right, guys, 505 RC here with you guys. Check it out, man. We got that cross member cut. I got the uh, straight axle lined up. That's almost dead on the wheelbase, I believe. I'm going to drop a fender and test it. Once uh, I start getting the frame boxed in, and then I got to make uh, shackle hangers, boxes, because as you can see, it lines up perfectly with the radiator support. Even with this straight, it's still going to be out past the frame, but the rear is perfectly done where I want it. And then same with this side, it's right at the radiator support as well, right there. And then my steering box is right there, but it'll be fine because I'm going to have a box sit right here. That's going to sit right here, you know. And then we got one shackle that came on it already, but I need to take that off. Because I don't have a matching shackle for that side. And then as you can see, you got that side cut. And what I'm going to do to brace my cross member for the engine or engine cradle is get a piece of quarter inch steel, put it over that, weld it all together. And there you go, guys. Just got to get all that shit in and start doing my disc brakes on this sucker. But that's how it looks right now. With a mock up of the gasser front end. Nobody's done it on this year of truck, period. I've looked it up on forums, Google, YouTube, it, everything. I've looked everywhere, and nobody's taken a straight axle to a independent front suspension 70s to 60s C10 truck. I'm the first one doing it. And uh, so that's why I'm videoing it and showing you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing what I'm doing. And see, even with it all the way up against the frame, it the axle doesn't even hit the engine cradle at all. It still has plenty of room, but it's going to drop down way more than that when I get the leaf springs actually hung on her. And, uh, you know, get it all straightened out. But there you go, guys. There's the pieces that I cut off. But that's how she sits right now, guys. Only an hour, two days, and, and then this is the most time I spent working on it today since 7 in the morning, I think. And we're at this stage right here. So now I just got to get cardboard, make the templates, bend that straight, maybe. May have to just ride like that. Oh, well, I don't care. And uh, we'll figure something out. And... Um, start doing templates man box in that frame make uh box shackles for it and bolt it to the side of the frame right there and uh probably have to cut and drill these out so i can run bolts so i have the plate in between the radiator support here and the frame or something like that i'll figure something out or even right here on the inside and then just bolt it all the way through on both plates this and the plate to the leaf spring shackle deal and uh get her all figured out got to take this bar off right here and then i also got to get a tire rod shorter tire rod and adjustable because this arm sits sideways for some weird reason but uh it's out of a 56 chevy truck step side so who knows i don't know how the hell the gearbox was and all that. And this looks like the same uh, Pittman arm as mine was on my gearbox. So I'm hoping to still use my gearbox with this Pittman arm, get a shorter adjustable tire rod, and then have it stick off of here sideways and then to there. And then the tire rod will come to here to it and I'll just come from here to the, to the tire rod. And that'll fix my steering issue. And then I got to take my shock studs right here and put them on the front right here because my shock mount is right here for the uh, front shocks. It's reverse mounted because we got the steering linkage here, not in the, not up tight, close and all that. And it's a straight axle. So that's why it's done that way. <clears throat> but, uh, there we go, guys. Eight lug axle, one ton axle on this bad boy. But uh, she's getting there. We're almost done with the uh, suspension. So there we go, guys.
I was thinking about painting my truck a gray. Like how you see a lot of the new challengers coming out, that gray with the uh, with the real cool like plum crazy purple engine bay and some accents on the body with that gray and call it the evil twin. I don't know guys, let me know what you think. Let me let me know what you think about my progress so far. I mean I swear up and down I'm the only person ever do, has done this or doing this right now. A straight axle on a 70s to uh, late 60s C10 truck like this, guys. I mean, nobody's done it, and I'm doing it. First one doing it. So I'll keep re uh, showing you guys as I go along, making the front end work and how it's going to be set up and all that good stuff and, and show you how it works because it will work the right way. Just got a little bit of a fabrication to make it happen. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.